Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Redux Toolkit. So today we are going to learn about how to create the Toto app with the help of the React Redux Toolkit. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that we can make a task one, task two. So you can mark this Toto as completed also. This is complete, this is completed. Or you can also delete that one okay so this functionality we have implemented in the react redux toolkit let's see how we have implemented so let's get started so first we have a structure okay so this is the source file <coughs> all the all of the things are under the source then we have features then we have a to do's we have add to do then to do list and the to do slice okay so these we have the things then we have a store.js file for the reducer part <coughs> okay let's begin with the store part okay so here we have a import the config store function from the react redux toolkit library then import the reducer from the to do state from the to do slice create and config the redux store so here we are configuring that one specify the to do slice reducer okay after that we have export the config store to for the use in the application the config store here this one <coughs> function is used to create a redux store it takes an object as an argument with the reducer key. The reducer key is an object that maps state slices to their corresponding reducer functions. In this case, the store is configured with a single state. So here we have a single state only, slice name to do's and the to do reducer from the to do slice is assigned as a reducer for the to do state. Okay, so this is the same file that we have already discussed. Okay, <coughs> next we have the add to do file so here basically we have the import then we have a use dispatch from the react redux add to do from the to do slice so add to do basically doing that it's pushing the data into that array okay so this is that one so here we have a input buttons to you can see that we have an input right so we have an input this one and then we have a button handle click so on change we are setting the to do so set to do text here so we are setting that state okay <coughs> so by clicking on the on click button handle add to do what will it do it will take the text and dispatch add to do so here we have a add to do part right so here you can see add to do state dot push so first initial state will be empty then we are pushing all the data into that state okay so this is the add to do part okay then we have a to do list so here we are just showing all the list <coughs> okay so here you can see that import the necessary dependencies from the react redux <coughs> use selector and the use dispatch import action creators from the to do slides so we are importing the action creators remove to do or to do toggle completed so if i go and just check over here we have a <coughs> reducer function to remove a to do from the state so we are filtering out with the id and remove that one okay we are showing that one which is not which is removed we are not showing that one okay and here we have a next one that is toggle completed so when we marked it as a checked so here reduce a function to toggle the completed status of the to do okay find the to do of the specified id in the state so we are first finding that one which is marked if the to do is found toggle state is complete property okay so this is that one if i go to the top here we are creating the slice for managing the to-do state, name to-do and initial state. So we have a defining the reducer functions that can be used to modify the state. Okay, then we have a reducer function to add a new to-do, reducer function to remove the to-do. Okay, then we have a reducer function to toggle the completed states, status of the to-do. <coughs> then we have extract and export the action creators from the slice, then export the reducer function generated by the slice. Okay. So this is the slice part, the to-do list part here. So what we have, we have import the necessary dependencies from the React Redux, import the action creators from the to-do slice, then define the to-do list. Okay, so we are getting the, we are using the use selector to hook, to select the to-dos state from the Redux store. So here we have a state dot to-dos. Okay, then get the access of the Redux dispatch function render the list of the to-do items so here we are listing that one so in the to-dos okay in the to-do state we have all the 
because in the to dos we are just pushing that one okay so we are mapping that to do with the id okay and we have a checkbox to do completed or not on change dispatch the toggle state whenever which mark the check so it will call this toggle okay so here we have a toggle completed so whenever we have a to, to do is found toggle it's completed property okay so this is that one display the text of the to do so we have a to do dot text so whatever the te text over many uh, here so it is displaying that text button to delete that to do so we have a remove that to do part also so we are using that one okay so remove to do reduce a function to remove the to do from the state so if you are getting the id not equal to the action payload so it filtering that part okay so this is how we are able to make and after that in the app.js we are calling that one add to do and to do list okay you can see that okay so after doing all of this i think the logic and the funda i think you are cleared on that one so how we are going to use that sections okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day